Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we are gonna check out some tonics for our gin and tonic. So today it's gonna be a really simple video. We are just gonna take a, a few tonics in our gin and tonic. As a gin, we are gonna use the gin Roku from uh, Japan, from Santori. It's a really competent dry gin. And as for the tonics, I just went to the local supermarket here in Italy where you can find way more assortment than you can in Japan. And I got six Indian tonics and I'm just gonna build half size gin tonics in the glasses here behind and let's see what we think of each brand of tonic water. Let's go. So I prepared some ice in our glasses and I'm just gonna start by pouring 30 milliliters of gin in each glass. That is going to be a lot of gin tonic. Yep. <laughs> and I order the tonics in uh, order of sugar content from least amount of sugar to most sugar or calories. So let's start from this uh, Britvik from the British Vitamin Company. Since 1938, I would normally just pour a, a free amount of uh, tonic in our glasses, but in the interest of science, I'm gonna measure 90 milliliters. Mm. So we're gonna have a three to one ratio of uh, tonic to gin. It's going to be apple to apple comparison. Then we go on with a Fever Tree, a company founded in 2003 in US. I guess at the, the exact right timing to start selling premium tonic water and it became a standard all around the world. It's actually the tonic I use in Japan too. It's a bit expensive, but nowadays easily accessible. Then we go on with Fentiman, the oldest company in this list since 1905 British company a really classic tonic then we have Orncraft from Estonia Estonia no how do you say Estonia Estonia A company I never heard before, but they have a cute name with the O with the cross. Orncraft. And then we have J Gasco, which is an Italian company. Finally, Italian! Only Italian on the list. Oh, this is really fizzly. <laughs> really fizzly and the last but not least i don't know maybe it's gonna suck but maybe it's gonna be good is this uh, thomas henry thomas henry apparently was a a manchester chemist who found out a way to introduce carbonation into water but this has nothing to do with this tonic because this tonic is made in germany I think the company was founded in 2010, if I'm not wrong. Now I'm just gonna, thank you, give a brief stir. And then we are gonna get down to try these bad boys. Okay, let's start from the first one, the Britvik. Mm, nice. Seems less bitey than the normal Fever 3, but by memory. Let me try the Fever 3 now. You can go ahead and try okay. too. Fine. The Kinning in the Fever 3 
bites harder on the back flavor than the Britvik. Yeah. Britvik really soft. Really soft. Yeah. Let's go with Fentimus. Fentimus is different, man. Do we say which kind of botanicals we use? Juniper berry, kaffir, lime leaves. Fever tree is our standard. Yeah, fever tree is a really good standard. Mm. Fentimans has something different in the beginning of the flavor. I'm gonna go on to the own craft from Estonia. This feels a bit sweeter. It doesn't have much character to it, in my opinion. I'm going to J. Gasco, the really sparkling one from Italy. Mm. A bit lemony, this one? The fainty one? Mm. Might be. Yeah, the only thing I could tell is mm. has some lime leaves uh, okay. in yeah. the thing. On the J. Gasco, the judgment is pending. Let me try the last one and most sweet, the Thomas Henry. Thomas Henry, at the same time, more sweet and really doing a thing here in your throat with a bitterness. I couldn't taste much difference in these no. two. No, yeah. No. Is it really bitter here in yeah. the throat? I think it doesn't give much bubbles either. Ah, yeah, that's a good uh, because this is observation. Last yeah, we it just should, poured it. Technically, it should have most bubble, but yeah. I don't feel it at all. Let me go over all of them one more time quickly, and then uh, let's do final judgment. It's not vanilla, but it's something, it's extremely smooth, this first one. The bit thick. Fever 3 is the one we know. Yeah, Fentiman has a bit of a different character to it. Or craft. Don't have much character, in my opinion. But even Jay Gasco, the extreme fizziness I notice while pouring it is gone in the glass. And the last one, the Thomas Henry, I can notice a bit of a lemon note and the extreme astringency in the throat, also sweeter. In my opinion, I, know, I would think the Jay Gasco and Horn are at the bottom of the list. Don't have much to say about them, they are really blander. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Or is it this one the worst one? Mm. But maybe we have a very strong preference with non-sweet drinks, you know? Yeah, yeah, so I know. I think it's also, it could be also preference, but for some people who might prefer sweeter drinks, might actually prefer these ones. Mm. Like, we don't like it. But see, if you prefer a sweeter drink, I would still go for this uh, Thomas Henry then, because I think the Orn and the Jigasco are just too plain. They don't give me anything to hang on to, flavor-wise. And about these three, mm. I'm really surprised by the Britvik. That's really good and I never heard of it. Probably it's a famous brand in Britain, but not outside much. I find it really drinkable, smooth, but still with an interesting note to it. Do you like the Britvik? It's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. But if you want some punch in a character, somebody will choose this one. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, we came to the most obvious conclusion. So <laughs> not a really interesting video, but the two best ones are probably Fever 3 and Fentiman, uh, which are the two most famous brands. Even this one? Yeah, it's really famous, uh, Fentimans. I don't think I've tried this one before. Actually, this is available in Japan, but it's just slightly harder to find compared to Fever mm. 3, but it's available. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pentimans has something I really like. Mm. I don't know if it's that note of um, lemon, but it's really, really slight. It's more like oh. herbal than anything. Mm. Fever 3, we've been drinking it forever and it's good. Yes, more uh, punch on the kinin. Yeah, you can feel more of the Fever 3 in the aftertaste, the kinning, and at the same time it's really pleasant at first approach. No wonder it's uh, one of the most famous in the world. Anyway, last I would say five, six, four. Yeah, number three, the Britvik. Fentimans or Fever 3 for the Torp? I think it's Fever 3. 
Let's see this one. I like a, something with a really strong cat. Okay, it's gonna be Fentimus. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. We are gonna get wasted here, finishing uh, all this gin tonic, gin and tonic. Gin. And I found out in Italian it's mm -hmm. gin tonic. Oh yeah. In Japanese is gin tonic. While normally, if you're speaking English, is gin and tonic. In fact, when I ordered on the airplane, I said gin and tonic. Oh, you're good. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and everything else you usually do or you don't <laughs> on my channel. And uh, see yourself a good gin tonic, and hopefully, we will see you next time. Cheers. So today we are. I made like a sound with a noise. I made like this. Buckle. So today.